The hole is big, but my hardware is small. Happens to me all the time. So I designed a solution. So I'm working with M8 hardware, eight millimeter diameter. And last week I showed you a solution that fastens into this pipe. 23 millimeter hole in the pipe becomes a fastening spot for this bolt. And once it's tightened down, it prevents the rod from twisting and also from teetering. It, it can hold it uh, in all uh, degrees of freedom. Okay, now I want the same thing here. I wanna be able to set this and it needs to be concentric. I want to pull on it and it remains attached and I want to apply these forces and it doesn't wobble. So this will slide into place, reducing the hole size. And then there's a boss here that will seat into the 14 millimeter hole and position it precisely right in the middle. And then in the middle, I've got my eight millimeter clearance hole and I can keep a fastener on the bottom. So that's gonna go snap, okay. And then there's some wobble, can be adjusted. Okay, I need something to tighten this down on, so I'll use this steel tube for now. And then we're gonna tighten this up. And once it's tight, it is quite strong. It's gonna do whatever I need for my assembly. Okay, it's tightened with the Allen wrench. And I grab my Knipex, pick it up, and it holds right in the middle. No wobble. You can repeat this concept on any steel wall of any thickness and any distance from the edge and change any diameter of this one's 23 to any size you want on the fastener. And so this is another variation of that part. It snaps in and now we have the M6 and we can place that in the very center so that we can pass a shaft and actually borrow the strength of this whole uh, handy box here, that's steel. And so we have the rigidity in an assembly that we can't get with plastic. This is a concept underway. If I want to make this box into a gearbox with pulleys, I can use one, uh, one hole that is offset and adjustable and I can move the distance of that shaft from this location. And then I could tighten up a, um, I can make other adjustments in the design such as tighten up the belt. By the way, I'm sure you saw this one bend a little bit, but that was a, an incredible amount of moment that I just applied to it. And we design things mechanically so that they don't see that type of force. Okay, I'll get this posted tomorrow. It's called Reducer on GrabCAD. Free, open source, parametric, 10,000 problems solved. Have you ever seen another part that is super versatile and parametric and free and open? Hope you share in the comments.